Hello everybody and welcome back to another FS19 Sandy Bay Let's Play video. And right, if you look down at the bottom right hand corner of your screen, you can see that we have diesel exhaust fluid. Uh, it is a mod that, uh, yeah, I, honestly, just like the color, I think probably should have been base game. As if you go into the base game, Okay, even without this mod, I suggest you guys to try this out on your base game. Go into the store and just look, look for the vehicles, okay? You know, just look for the vehicles. Obviously not the older tractors. Go to more of the newer tractors. Go to this. D Def. This is an older tractor, so it doesn't have it. Uh, Def. Older tractor, so it doesn't have it. Um, medium tractors. Diesel exhaust fluid. Diesel exhaust fluid. Diesel exhaust fluid. Older tractor, so it doesn't really have it. Diesel exhaust fluid. You can see you have your liters of diesel exhaust fluid, even in base game. This mod just kind of adds that feature and actually makes it more an actual thing you gotta worry about. Before, diesel exhaust fluid, not a thing you gotta worry about. Now, it's an actual thing we gotta worry about. Luckily, we only have to worry about it on two of our machines. So yeah, we're probably gonna get a smaller combine, because you really don't need that big combine. Uh, we... we, we we, we, we'll do just fine with a, with, with a slightly smaller one. Um, so yeah, it might just be the Aryan uh, that we have to deal with diesel exhaust fluid, which, yeah, it adds a little bit of realism. So yeah, we, we do use a little bit of older tractors on the farm. So yeah, we won't have to worry about the diesel exhaust fluid on the older tractors, but on this new fancy one, we gotta worry about it. And for you guys who don't know what diesel exhaust fluid does, I honestly didn't know what it does, but basically it is a mixture of a uh, certain chemicals that is injected into the exhaust to um make it less hazardous so we're we're green basically we're you know we're we're eco-friendly <laughs> if, if 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 you guys want to understand it like that basically i mean not as eco-friendly as an electric tractor but more eco-friendly than if we were to just forget about the exhaust fluid and just not do anything which is what we're doing on our older tractors, so... But again, they don't have diesel exhaust fluid tanks, so we can't even do that. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and buy some things at the store today. That's why we're here. Would you look at that? Anyway, let's go ahead to here. The first thing I wanted to buy... So that is that works for the AdBlue, I guess. That's cool. Perma's Agricultural Pump. The basic pump... Uh, give me that. Uh, def canisters. Canister with diesel exhaust fluid, which can be carried around. That might be useful. We'll buy two 50 liter canisters. Because, yeah, we're not going to go through it that quickly. Uh, I would use, like, this on Durango. I think it would be really great. Uh, but th this is our more realistic series. And also, again, it'd probably be good to use on this series. Um, yeah, it'd probably be good to use on this series. Because uh, this is our more realistic. And also, Durango's been going on for a while, so... I really don't want to add too many new things, plus we have the the honey on that series right now. So adding all this extra stuff I think would be way too much. Anyway, we'll go ahead and get that all strapped down onto the trailer here. Can we just pick this up as well? Oh, we can. Nice. Thought we needed a front loader for this. Turns out we don't. So there we go. We got our Ad Blue. We got our Agricultural Pump. And then we got another canister of it right here. Looking very nice. Perfect. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. I think this is a really great mod. I haven't, I've never messed around with it before. But yeah, I think it'll be nice to have a bit more realism on this realistic series. There it be, and it be what it be. Okay, anyway. Gonna go with all this strapped down. The straps don't actually go over these, but I think I think they are strapped down. Okay, anyway. One last thing we need to do is go ahead and uh, drop the trailer off the back. Um, I thought we would have to move the pump with the pallet fork. But, uh, turns out we didn't need it, so we'll just go ahead and throw that in the back as well. We'll have to be careful that we don't do that, I guess. Yeah, if you see, notice uh, on the corner, it says, Cleanliness for your cows uh, is a word that you never want to hear for animals. Critical. Or alarmingly. And then, give me my bucket. Give me the bucket. Where's my bucket? Uh, we can do a universal bucket, or we could do... Silage cutter, manure fork. I don't think we're mainly we're mainly 
Manure fork could work. I think I'll just get a, a universal bucket. For now, this is what we'll get. And if we want something different in the future, I'll change it. We can go ahead and make it class. Make it match. Perfect. Okay. But yeah, probably next time we're going to be getting field 11. Because that's what I want. I really want to buy field 11. We can plant alfalfa there. But yeah, we don't have the money right now. But I was thinking we could probably sell our combine. Because I said we're going to get a smaller combine. Um, so yeah, that would be... That would be nice. Because we haven't even... It has, it has zero hours on it. So I think it would be fine to go ahead and resell. Or go ahead and check. Let's see what the resale price for it is, actually. Shh. 233 That's actually pretty good. Plus the header. And then probably a smaller one would probably be like 100 We could get something like this. Small. Like the Roscal Mash. I mean, that, that could be nice. But I was thinking maybe if there's a mod out there for a nice... Modern combine, but also a small combine. A modern small combine. Just like how this is a modern small tractor. They don't just make big tractors. They make all kinds of tractors. Oh, no, that's not what I wanted you to do. Oh, that's a pain. Whenever it does that, I always get mad because it's a pain. It's like it's not even attached to anything. No, I don't want to do the weight, though. I want to detach... I gotta lower the agco first. Whoa. Oh, I got in the pump. Guys, I'm inside the pump. Let's be careful. I don't want uh, our pallet fork to fly off the edge. Well, that's just great. Will that work? Hopefully, that works. I mean, the exhaust fluid should be holding the bucket down relatively well, so I don't see a problem. But yeah, I'll probably, do, I'll probably end up using this uh, mod in some other series that we do, like after Durango, I'll probably enable it, though. In the Alpine DLC, we have that electric tractor, but I mean, that would just be one tractor, though. I mean, actually, those tractors are probably pretty old. Make sure our stuff is still on there. Did the bucket... Yeah, it seems to have worked, the bucket... Those canisters are holding the bucket on really good. Yeah, for the reasons I mentioned before. No, number one, Durango's been going on for a very long time. And number two, there's already a lot of interesting stuff going on Durango. And it's also not our most realistic series. So hopefully that explains it. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and head back to our farm. Go ahead and pump the rest of this fertilizer into our tank with the pump. Go ahead and clean out the cows. And put this diesel exhaust fluid away. And then maybe we'll, um... Maybe we can actually buy Field 11 today. If this video already, if the, if the video doesn't become too long. If the video becomes too long, I might end up cutting it. Left. Actually, we could probably, I mean, we could, we, we could sell the combine. <laughs> That's not a problem. We could sell the combine, we could buy the field. But just I'm saying, if doing any field work, I think that would be out of the question until next time. I'm pretty sure. Oh my gosh, I'm driving on the wrong side of the road. I'm so sorry. Hello, Mrs. Cal. And Mr. Cow. The pallet fork. Oh wait, this uh I think this uh engine needs uh needs fuel. We might be making a run back to the store. I don't need the diesel exhaust fluid canisters. They seem to want to come along for the ride. Never mind, they're good. Okay, cows, let me clean you out. There's some manure on the floor. Okay. Do we have anywhere to put this? Do we have a place for the manure? Uh, I don't know. We have 657 liters of manure. It would be nice to get a manure spreader, actually. We can spread it on our land. We don't actually have a manure spreader right now. Um. I don't know where to store it. Oh, I think I have a muck pit up here, actually. That would explain what this is up here. I think this is a muck pit. That we put all our pallets in. Okay, wow. And now we need it to actually use... We actually need it for muck. Yeah, we put our sprayer in, in the manure pit. Okay, well, we'll just put it... We'll just tip it right here for now. 
There we go. We'll go ahead and put the manure right here for now. But I think, yeah, we're supposed to put it in that area where the, uh, where the sprayer is right now. That's where the manure goes. Makes sense. Scoopy, scoopy. Just a bunch of spilt silage. Well, you know what I say about spilt food? You can have it back. Uh, that's, I just, I just made it, I just made the mess, uh, worse. Let's go ahead and, yeah, get this pump fired up. Oh boy, is that it? Get off my trailer! Is that, I could have sworn that cow was on our trailer. Actually, shoot, I forgot, I forgot some other things. Oh boy. See, the pump would go on this pipe, but we need another pipe to connect back up. Uh, so I guess, um, let's go ahead and take this. Give me, give me, give me this. Okay. So this goes right here, I believe. Badonk. Go ahead and get inside. Uh, oh, yeah, it's full on. It's full of fuel. Okay, that's good. I'm going to start the engine. That's great. And, okay, it goes right there. Okay, that's, that works, I guess. We can... Change pump direction from left to right. Yeah, but we need another hose. Okay. The hoses, the hoses are kind of a pain to transport anyway. Uh, they don't really strap down well on a trailer, so that's why I just reset them. I'm, I know it's kind of considered cheating that they reset back here, but it's actually very nice because, yeah, the hoses, they're really hard to transport. Unless you have a trailer that actually gives a hose transport, which they don't have. But a flatbed trailer should work fine, but, I mean, it's fine. It's just a hose. I don't see too much reason to go all the way to the store just for a hose. We'll just go ahead and, uh, yeah, we have a hose now. But, Unk, we have a blue hose and then a green hose. The blue hose has seen cleaner days, let me tell you that. Tell you about our, uh, blue hose, green hose. Okay, let's go ahead and put this pump over here. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, can we just connect the hose? Can we just connect the hose? Okay, but donk? No. Okay, come over here. Be nice. Go ahead and plug in hose. Plug it in. Yes. Okay, and then go ahead and grab other hose. And plug it in. I said, plug it, plug it, plug it, plug it in. I said, plug it in. I think the pallet is too close. That's usually a weird problem that happens. Okay, let's go ahead and take the, the pump all the way over here. There we go, and now maybe the, the hose will work. Come on. Sometimes if your hoses are too close, they won't they won't connect properly. Also, if they're too far, they won't either. It, it gives you a warning. Saying, hey, don't do that. And I'm like, I'm gonna do it anyway! Gosh darn it. Come on, hose. I believe in you. Connected. Yes! That works. I guess. It's fine. You know what? You'd think the engine would need to be upright, but it's actually fine. Um. Activate pump of pump. Yes. Okay, we're pumping out. We're pumping in. Okay, good. That's what I wanted. Perfect. Suck it dry. This is normal. Okay. 100% normal. Give me the hose. Yep, give me the hose. Give me the hose. Give me, give me the hose. Give me, give me the, give me the hose. But dunk. And we'll go ahead and grab the pump. It's a very good engine. It can it can work on all directions. It doesn't stall out or anything. It's great. This is a great work of engineering. And there we go. Now it's pumping out. Yes, perfect. Ah, oh, such a great pump. I love it. Awesome. Okay, now we can go ahead and shut it off. Go ahead and close the slope and hook the pipe. Let's go ahead and clean this hose, maybe. I think we can probably go ahead and clean this hose. This hose needs to be uh cleaned. It's a dirty hose. You're a bad dirty hose. Get up here and get cleaned. 
I do this to the hose. Does this clean it? It does. Okay, good. Wow, nice. Let's go ahead and clean all this dirt off this hose. There we go. Good as new. Perfect. Perfect. Good and shiny and new and a hose. Go back to where you came from, hose. I don't ever want to see you again. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and put that diesel exhaust fluid away. This pump's great. I really do like it. Let's go ahead and uh, get the back right side up. Yeah, good. Great pump. Really great. Because, yeah, with that pump, now we don't have to... Um, let's go ahead and put this hose with the other hose. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. And a hose party. Perfect. Okay. Um, let's go move this out of the way. The, these two icky things. Um, ooh, I left the engine running. That's not good. Talk about being good for the environment. That's not good for the environment. Okay. We probably add blue. I think I know where to put these. Oh. Ah. No. Give me. Give me. Give me. Give me the blue. Give me the add blue. Give it to me. We're gonna go put these in here. Right over here. If we ever need them, they'll be here. Ba donk. Perfect. These things aren't good, though. We probably actually need this. We're actually going to need this plow very soon. And this slurry tanker. I don't know if we're going to need it soon. But we have the hose on it. The slurry hose is on it. It's a very nice slurry tanker. We haven't gotten to use it yet because we haven't gotten any slurry. But yeah, it's very nice. A slurry tanker. But yeah, we probably should... Not have it in here at this angle. This is kind of... The plow should be over there, and the sort Yeah, this is not really a good way to store machines, but... That's how we've been doing it. Uh, I guess we can use... We can probably use the... The area to move some stuff... Out of the way. Let me just go ahead and clean up the farm real quick, and I'll... I'll get back to you guys, okay? These, uh... uh blue can canisters are kind of finicky. There we go. Oops. Luckily, they have self-uprighting capabilities. They always self-upright. Perfect. Okay, good. Um. Check out them skills. There we go. Okay, this thing got a little, little stuck in this shed. So I had to nudge it a little bit. Uh, I think I was, I was originally gonna put it in here, but now that I think about it, probably it should go up top here. I mean, I thought this might have been played for it, but it might be hard to pull it out. Let's see, is it gonna be hard to pull it out? Yeah, it seems like it. It's a pretty big thing. Okay, let's try to get this out of here then. Yeah, I don't think I want to put it up here. Yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna get stuck here. I mean, down, down at the bottom, this was, was all right, I guess. But I think maybe up here would be, also a, an okay spot for it. 
Okay, we got the bales in here. We have the fast track in here. Oh, yeah, right in the back here would be good. Okay, let's go ahead and get it all the way in the very back. Oop. As a self-steering axle, so any turns you make on it are going to be amplified. Okay, ooh. It's going to try to steer. It tries to steer itself, basically. Hold on. Oh, we're stuck on the wall. I didn't realize that coming in here. Come on, it. Eh. Oh, the bucket, the bucket's stuck. The bucket is officially... Okay, no, never mind. Okay, let's go ahead and... You gotta make sure you don't get your bucket stuck. That's a big problem in the UK. Good. Yeah, I couldn't pack up this chiller that good because it's a dolly. There you go. Let's leave the area in there. Go ahead and start up the fast track, which doesn't use diesel exhaust fluid, as you can see, because it's an older... This is a very old fast track. Eh. I mean, it's not a dolly, so it shouldn't be hard. I think I got this. Watch watch this, guys. Watch these reverse... Rever trailer reversing skills. Watch this. Watch this. Hey, hold on, watch this. Watch, 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 guys, watch. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this pro skills over here. Pro gamer. Look at these pro gamer skills. These are the these are the real pro gamer skills that everybody needs to be learning. Is back in trailers in. Oh yeah, pro professional. Let's go ahead and get the the fast track sprayed down uh, with pressure washer, and then yeah, I guess we can go ahead and take the combine uh, to the store to. To sell it, and then yeah, we probably won't get a get a combine until harvest. We don't really need one until harvest, so we can just kind of let the the money kind of sit there a little bit, to be honest. So what we'll go ahead and do is put the fast track right here, out of the way. Yeah, cause this, this is definitely a really big combine for the farm. Uh, we need a header trailer for it, whereas in, uh, so if we get a smaller one, we really shouldn't need a header trailer. And also, I don't really think we're gonna need a big combine. We'll have six days of fall to harvest our crops. And we planted in that time. And we had, we have like a small three meter planter. Uh, the seven meter combine is definitely a lot. If we got a four meter combine, that's, that's good enough. We don't need anything too big, too crazy. Yeah, this thing is clean enough, nice. The dirt is just flying off. So that means it wasn't kicked on there too good. Nice. Okay. Let's go ahead and put this away. I'll go ahead and get into the John Deere Combine. Which also has the diesel exhaust fluid, but we've never driven this thing at all. This is my first time driving this thing. And, um... Yeah. I think we'll still go for John Deere. I think there's some pretty good small John Deere stuff on Mod Hub. Ooh, that, 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 uh, that, uh, ooh, that, um, uh, mm. <laughs> the, that, that dolly, though, oh boy, oh my gosh, I'm stuck, maneuvering, without doing that much damage, maybe doing a little bit of damage, but then again, not doing that much damage, really, if you think about it. Attaching back to the trailer, but at a bad angle. That the n good old nudge always works. Get nudged. Perfect. Wow. Okay, shed. Not today, Mr. Shed. Oh wow. Oh, oh wow. I love I love the header trailer. It has it has self steering. Oh my gosh, that is that is beautiful. That is beautiful. Okay. Now we just gotta make it to the store. On the left side of the road, make it to the store. It's all good. Okay, excuse me guys, coming coming down the road with the combine. Watch out. Crashing into buildings. This is um this is a uh, farmer way. This is how farmers do it. Oh wow. Another farmer. Come on by, have some tea. Got a wall, we hit a wall. We hit a tiny wall. It's actually quite a big wall, so never mind. It's not tiny. Oh boy. Cars! Excuse me. I'm a combine. That is too big. I am too big! Okay, I'm climbing over you now. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your company. Okay, bye. 
Where's the store? I need to sell this thing right now. No offense to the the, the combine, it's just too big. See, see look, we're, we're way too big. And we made it to the store. Hallelujah. Hmm, I mean, what do you guys think? Should we have class combines in both series? Because I honestly don't mind. Because it'll be a smaller class combine. It won't be the same uh, model class combine. It'll be the Dominator, whereas on Durango we have the Takano. Uh, but yeah, this is a class dealership, so it, it would make sense to have a class combine. Anyway. But yeah, I think there's a really good one on Mod Hub, like I said. If we get 7,000 for the trailer, we get 2,080 for the combine. That's pretty good. And then we get 47,000 for the header. Not bad. That's a nice sum of four. Now we're at 439, and we can afford that field 11. I think we'll go ahead and buy it. We'll go ahead and buy it right now. Okay, now we are proud owners of field 11. Or I think our planter offers direct drilling, so we could probably just straight up direct drill this. Even though I would want to, like, maybe cultivate or plow it first, because it just looks bad with these wilt w withered potatoes. Um, but yeah, we're going to plant some alfalfa or clover here. I think it's nice. I'm glad to have this field. It is a ne very nice field to own. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave a like. Subscribe for new videos. Please be sure to... Subscribe for new videos. Have a great day the rest of your day. And yeah, next time, we'll be fertilizing some fields and also planting some fields in the early summer. See you guys then. Goodbye. Get out of here, bird.